video is for someone that need to set some goals for themselves and want to be accountable for your goals by just creating a vision board it will help you to become more accountable for what you're doing with your time each day another reason why i created this video too because i am 50 years old and i want other middle-aged women and older to know that it's not too late and just because you are older it don't mean that you don't need to set any goals for yourself life is all about learning and long as you're living you should want to learn something new i've never created a vision board before but this year i decided to for the last couple of years now i have written down certain goals that i want to accomplish but this time i decided to take it a little further and actually create a vision board what i am going to make myself start doing is looking at my vision board at least five days a week and decide what I need to do for that day to work towards my goal. I decided to do a virtual vision board and the reason why is because that I don't have any ink in my computer and I know that it was a possibility that I was not going to remember to get some. So instead of just putting it all there, I just decided to do a virtual vision board. I decided to do a two-year vision board instead of a one-year vision board. And the reason why is because I wanted to reach my goals and I want it to be more realistic. And I know that it's only so much I can do within one year. And not only that, I have that type of personality to where if I'm trying to do too much, I get overwhelmed and nothing will get done. So I want it to be more realistic and give myself time to develop and do certain things that I need to do in order to reach my two-year goal. I decided to do two different vision boards. And one is for my business goals and the second one is for my personal growth goals. I like different quotes, and so I put a couple of them on my vision board. And one of them that I chose, it says, action is the foundational key to all success. And the reason why I put that on there, just to remind myself that in order for these things to happen, I have to put in the action. Just wanting it and dreaming about it is not going to make it happen. It's certain things that I have to do each day to make it happen. Right now in my life, I feel like I am aligned with God's will. I feel that I am aligned with my purpose. So the things that I put down in my business vision board is things that I feel that God wants me to do with my life. So if your desires are aligned with God's will and you're working towards it, He's going to give you the strength and the wisdom and send the people in your life to help you make it happen. And the key word is he's going to help you. But before he helps you, there are things that you're going to have to start doing on your own first. One of my desires is that I want to travel around the United States teaching Christian women and I don't desire to teach them in a huge auditorium. I just want to teach them in a small, like I would say intimate environment, no more than 50 to 60 women at a time. And the things that I desire to teach women is how to be a good wife, how to please your husband, how to be a good mom, how to commit yourself to God. All those things are passionate to me. And I think all those things are important. I think that sometimes Christian women think that all God wants for them is for them to be a good Christian. In order to be a good Christian, you need to be able to develop yourself in all the different roles that you play in life our basic everyday life and the roles that we play are important to God. I want to have a mastermind group. And the reason why is because in order for me to be successful, I do know that 
I don't have all the skills that I need to make it happen. So I would love to have a group of people that's giving me advice, telling me things that they feel that I should do or things that's going to help my ministry to grow. A business is so much more successful. We have a diversified group of people even just tell you what they think that you should start doing or what they think that you should stop doing <laughs> because one person don't know it all. Another one of my desires is that I want to make a prayer journal. I want to teach women how to pray. I mean, sometimes uh, it may seem small to some, but I can remember there were times in my life to where I didn't know what to say. And then later I learned that to pray about things that you need to pull up on in your life. You pray about areas in your life that you need to become stronger or become better at. I love graphic tees. And so my plan is I want to start my own t-shirt business. And the reason why is because I have a hard time finding graphic tees that's appropriate for my age. So my plan is I'm going to start my own t-shirt business for middle-aged women and older. I'm going to write a couple of books. And so I figure what I'm going to do is start out with, instead of just writing actually a novel, I'm going to start out with writing some eBooks first. I want to share with women. And I do believe within myself, once I get started, everything else is going just to start flowing. And I'm going to end up with tons of books. One conversation that I had with my mom, maybe like I would say a month before my mom passed and when she came down to visit, we talked and we were talking about chats with Flo. And she was telling me how that she can see me with books and how that she can see what I'm doing actually growing and becoming a full-time ministry for me and um it meant so much to me by her just saying that it makes you feel good i don't care how old you are when your parent shares something like that with you and when they encourage you and also believe in what you're doing i can see myself creating some classes online i can even see myself having seminars or pastor's wives. I can remember when I first became a pastor's wife, how that I had so many questions and I was searching and searching for information. And being that the internet wasn't out during that time, it was hard for me to find information and the books that were out during those days were outdated. Books that really couldn't help me. My main desire is that I want to mentor and coach new pastor's wives. I am going to create a second video and the second video is going to be my self-improvement vision board for the next two years. So make sure that you look out for the next video. If you like my message and if you want to support what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope this video inspire you to create a vision board for yourself. And if you have already created a vision board, please let me know in my comments. And I will also would like to know one particular main thing that you want to accomplish for the year 2021. If you want me to talk about more of a particular topic that I have already created some videos on, or if you need my advice, you can email me at chatswithflow at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.